Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, Dale here and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your Windows 10 settings here to your right click desktop menu or context menu. It's not too difficult. It's a registry edit. I found this registry edit online at a website that I go to often called addictivetips.com. They have a lot of useful and some cool tips on different things you can do in your Windows OS. They also support Linux and Mac OS. So you can go check it out if you like. It's called addictivetips.com. So the first thing I had to do is get the, the, the script. I have it right here saved in a notepad document. I'll open it up. And it's all this right here. We're going we're gonna to merge or import this directly into the registry. And it's that simple. And it's done. Now when you get this, I'm, I'm also going to include this, this, all this information in the notes below. Just click on more and you can copy and paste it. So copy it and then paste it right into Notepad as I've done here and save it. Click on File, go to Save As. You can just name it Settings, but you got to put the .reg file extension after it. Do that, then click on Save. And now I got it right here. Now you can see the icon change to a registry icon. So that's the first step. Then after that, all you have to do, there's two ways to do this. Let me open up the registry edit. You can go down if you have your search box enabled. Just go down here and type in regedit. It pops right up. Just right click and run as administrator. Get that. And or you can right click on your start button and go to run. Just type in regedit. That's it. And hit OK. And that'll open it up as well. So now that I got this, all this saved as a registry file. And again, you got to make sure you include this first line right here. That has to be in there for this to work properly. Very important. So once you have that, if you, you know, find the file wherever you save it to, right click on it, and then just click on merge. It'll go right into the registry where it's supposed to be and it'll be done. Or if you open up the registry, you can go to file and you can click on import and just point to it. In my case, it's right here on my desktop. And hit open and that'll do it. So let me close this. I'm going to right click on this file that I just saved as a reg file. Right click and you got merge right here. Just click on merge. Hit yes. And it's just asking, are you sure you want to do that? I'm going to hit yes. And it's telling me it's going to do it. I'm going to hit OK. And it's done. So now if I right click on my desktop, boom, I got settings right here with the icon and everything. I got all the subcategories. It's the same thing as this right over here. So if you're like me and you like to tinker and you want to add things to your right click desktop menu, that's one way to do it. You can jump right to your system, or if you want to go to your apps, it's it's just a handy little thing to have. Now, later, if you decide you want to remove it, you just don't like it, all you have to do is go back into your registry. I'll show you how to delete it out of there safely. Yes. We're going to find it at H key current user. It's going to be software. And we're going to double click on classes right here. Double click this. And we're going to scroll all the way down and find desktop background. Right here. Double click that. Double click shell. And right here is your settings. So all you have to do, if you right click on this and hit delete. I didn't do it yet. You can see it's still here with all the subcategories. Pretty useful. Click on settings, right click, I'm going to hit delete. Yes, you can see it disappeared. And now it's no longer in my right click desktop menu. So it's really that simple. I just thought this was kind of a cool thing to share with everybody. Um, I go to that website quite often and see what they got to offer. Pretty cool. 
So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. That would be great. And I appreciate you watching. Have a great night.